Welcome back to the 5 o'clock news with BLBN. Three years on from the start of the zombie plague, things have been looking up for the world. Sure, there were plenty of people underestimating the severity of the sickness, but they're now among the undead, and you're free to deal with them as you see fit. It's just self-defense after all. As a refresh course, however, let's go over the early symptoms just to be sure you can detect any potential infected and keep yourself safe. Symptoms include fever, chills, fatigue, shortness of breath, muscle or body aches, loss of taste or smell, a sore throat, congestion, a runny nose, and an incessant cough that just will not go away. It's possible that the first couple days these symptoms may go unnoticed, as some of these symptoms may overlap with seasonal allergies. However, that just means we need to be ever more vigilant and watch for the other <laughs> Ah, sorry about that, folks. I'm not quite sure what came over me. Let me just take a quick sip of my coffee. Hmm. Tastes kind of funny. I wonder if the milk in the break room has gone bad. <clears throat> I'll have to get that checked out. I've basically been running on coffee the past couple days, so I'll need to make a quick run to the store during the break. It doesn't help that my recent workouts have left me more winded and sore than usual, but uh, I digress. Where were we? Ah, right, the zombie plague. <clears throat> Remember, folks, the most important thing in preventing joining the undead is to catch the symptoms early and isolate the individuals experiencing them. Rest and over-the-counter medicine is actually key in preventing an infected individual from going into full-on zombie mode. So, if you're experiencing these symptoms yourself, don't overexert yourself and instead lie down and be sure to drink plenty of fluids. Be sure to notify your doctor and they will send a team of qualified practitioners for a home checkup. Anyways, on to Sharon with the weather.